Hi, my name is Riyad, I'm 22 years old and I'm a filmmaker from Trinidad and Tobago and I'm gonna be answering some questions from Film TT, so let's go. How old are you and how long have you been working in the film industry? 22, and I've been making videos since I was like 12, yeah, 12 years old on YouTube and I've just gotten better and better as the years have gone on. When did you realize you wanted to work in the film industry and how did you start? I started when I was around 12 years old and I kind of discovered YouTube and YouTubers for the first time and it inspired me to do YouTube and funny comedy videos myself and that's kind of where I started. Um, and I realized I wanted to do this since I was like 14. Like I had a lot of hobbies that kind of came and went during that time and I guess my parents even noticed that I really clinged on to just making YouTube videos and stuff like that and they actually encouraged me to continue doing it so when I was 14 I even if I didn't know what it even meant at the time I just knew like I wanted to make films I wanted to make movies in the future and that would make me happy you know what was your first production job that you worked on and what was it like first production job well in terms of productions that I've done it's been myself. I usually do it with myself and my cousin who's my go-to actor. It's usually the two of us. It's kind of like a one and two man job most of the time. Um, so it's really just our productions that we work on and over the years, I mean, like I said, we've just gotten bigger and better and uh, we've gotten new equipment and stuff like that. So the production quality has definitely increased. Tell us about Reality Studio. What is your vision? How have you merged your passion with business? My vision, I just, I just want to make movies. <laughs> I want to make uh, films and TV shows, whether that be here or internationally. And I want to showcase our own local stories and culture internationally as well, because I think Trinidad and the Caribbean is very diverse and we have a lot of unique stories to tell that we honestly probably don't see a lot of in mainstream and stuff like that. So I kind of want to take filmmaking in Trinidad to that next level and to that international level, you know, and showcase really what kind of talent Trinidad has in this, uh, you know, in this sector, which is film. In 2020, I started doing videography as a way to support myself financially and uh, reinvest back into filmmaking and stuff, right? And um, so I've done uh, video projects for clients and I guess most notably, I've, um, uh, I do video production for Chief Brand Products on a monthly basis, managing their social media and we do our own show called We Outside, where we go around Trinidad and Tobago cooking with people and showcasing different cultures and places in Trinidad and Tobago that people probably won't even see. I guess it satisfies me creatively because I'm, I'm happy to, again, showcase Trinidad and Tobago in the way that we do with the show. How has the pandemic encouraged you to explore film otherwise? Well, I mean, for me, the production that I've done as of now at this level, like I said, it's just with my cousin and I. It's really like a DIY, no budget, guerrilla type filmmaking, just the two of us, just one to two man job. You know, so I guess it really hasn't affected us as much uh, as uh, it may have affected other people with like big crews and you know, all that kind of stuff. But um, I mean, with a lot of the time that I've had, I mean, I've, I've written and I've written quite a bit. I've taken the time to write as well. So now in 2022, I'm happy to kind of push that over to the edge and finally get into the production of some of those things that I've, I've been writing for a long time. What inspired you to make your short if Batman was a Trini? Also, how long did it take? What was the filming process like? Um, well, it was around mid-February and it took around a month and a half to make and at that time I, I, I kind of didn't make anything on YouTube for a while because I've been busy with Chief and uh, doing shows and video projects. So I wanted to kind of get back into the social media space and um, I, remember, I remember Batman was coming up at the time and I'm like, oh, I did a Batman in Trinidad video in 2019 before so I can repurpose some stuff for TikTok and you know, people could see that. And then I kind of had an epiphany. I'm like, why don't I just make a new one? Like, you know, the, the, the newfound skills that I have, the, I guess, higher level in filmmaking that I am at and the more equipment that I have, what if I make something brand new? So I got right to work and my cousin was excited to play Batman again, so I got him on board. The filming process, um, it's funny, we thought it would take a day. He comes early in the morning, we finish late at night. But instead it took three days for that. And it was hard because in the night, it, uh, it just kept raining when we were filming outside over there. I had to bag up all my equipment and it's a one man, one or two man show. So we're wearing all the hats with all the, you know, the lighting and cinematography and we're acting and I'm directing and everything. So, oh my goodness, it was, a, it was an ordeal. It was hard, but um, we're happy with how it came out in the end. And honestly, we're, we, we would do it all again. What platforms do you use the most and how has engagement been? 
Well, YouTube is my platform. I've been on it since like 11, 12. And that's like the birth of filmmaking for me. It came from me watching YouTube and being engrossed in YouTube. So, so that is my platform. In terms of engagement, I, it's been a long time since I've really posted a short film like this because I've been busy with video work. And uh, kind of when those opportunities present itself, I kind of take them. But now in 2022, I told myself like, you know, I want to get back into the routine of making films and, and move forward and making more films. So with this film, I'm hoping to kind of make a, a bit of a comeback and upload more consistently and just make higher quality films. How have you been coping in this time and is there any advice you would give to fellow creatives in this time to stay afloat mentally, financially and otherwise? Well, for myself, I mean, I'm thankful that I was, I've been able to have video work ongoing, especially with Chief going around Trinidad and cooking with people and making the show and everything. Um, but I've kept myself occupied as well by just writing in my free time as well. And I would suggest to, to do the same with uh, my fellow creatives to just continue to stay creative, you know, and to write in the downtime and you know, to set yourself up for the future, you know, because I mean, your, your creativity today can set you up for years to come, you know, something you write today, if you're in a good mood, I mean, in a couple of years time, you look back on it, I mean, you're going to be happy you wrote it, you know what I mean? So just like me with the projects that I have right now, I'm happy that I took the time to, uh, to write a lot in 2020 and 2021. So I would suggest just to continue being creative. What's next on your agenda? Well, I guess it's cliche to say, but I guess bigger and better, you know? I think with the Batman, I've set a new precedent in terms of the quality that I that I want to bring, and I have to stay at that level or continue to go higher and higher, and that's exactly what I want to do. So, you know, I just want to make bigger, bigger films, bigger budget films, more cast and crew and stuff like that, and hopefully, in at some point, take it internationally. Do you have any advice for those interested in film and production? Yeah, I would say to just do it. You know, I think that the bar for getting into film and video, if you want to try it out, is so low. How nowadays, you know, I mean, just, just your phone, you can do so much. And I mean, for me, most of my films up until, tw all of my films up until 2019 has just been on my phone, not this one, but on my Galaxy S6. And only recently in 2019 is when I was able to get this camera here. And still, I didn't even know how to use it. So my phone has taken me a very long way. And I always say like, it doesn't cost anything to come up with a great story. Like it's all in your head. You know, so you can put pen to paper without having to spend a dollar on anything, you know, and using simple items like this, like your mom's or dad's phone, just trying to get a feel of it, you know, and it can really set you on the right path to just figuring stuff out and seeing if you like it. And but yeah, I think your creativity can take you a lot further than you think. And um, I would say just do it. Don't care about what anyone else thinks of you. Just if it makes you happy, just do it. That's what I did for me. And I'm currently happy doing what I'm doing right now. So thank you to Film TT for this interview and um, a lot more films to come, a lot more higher quality stuff to come. So I'm excited to showcase that to everyone in the future. That's it. Peace. I'm fasting right now and I can't drink water. Oh my God.